Not that long ago, I found myself rewatching Clan Ad and its sequel, Clan Ad After Story, with my fiance, primarily as a way to get her to understand how a specific relationship of mine functioned in the past, but it also served as a great way for her to consume a really great show that she even became addicted to. So much so that she began collecting stuffed penguins the same way Nagisa did with the Great Dongo family. I originally wanted to put this video out a long time ago, just as a reflection on Clan Ad itself, but I think actually watching the show has changed some of the things that I'm about to say. To sum it up real fast, what you should do before continuing to watch this video is watch my original video on Clan Ad, how it broke my anime escapism. The short of it is, my relationship with my father was absolutely terrible. He chose other people over his own family, much like how Tomoya Okazaki's father, now Yuki, chose alcohol over his son. There's a scene in After Story, which I go over in this video, where Tomoya loses the chance at a new job opportunity because of his father's actions. And that stuck really hard with me back when I originally watched the show. But the confrontation he has with his father in prison later in that episode made me tear up and realize just what kind of person I perceived my dad to be. However, the second time I watched the series, things were different, both in life and how the show affected me. By the time the story approached the arc about Tomoya losing the shot at a new job, I felt more sorry for him than I did feel connected to him, or feel myself in him. You see, a lot of things have happened over these past five or six years, including some deaths in the family and the sale of a house that brought me and my father closer together, allowing us to understand each other from different perspectives and finally burying the hatchet. I no longer fear myself becoming something that I hated, like Tomoya Okazaki had been going down the path of becoming his own father. In fact, I see things in my father now that I wish I saw earlier. Near the end of After Story, Tomoya takes his daughter Ushio on a trip, staged by Nagisa's parents Akio and Sanai. During the trip, Tomoya's grandmother Shino meets with her grandson and Ushio, explaining how now Yuki was when he was at Tomoya's stage in life. Past now Yuki, who was a bright soul, is contrasted by his present self, who has no reason left to live, after his wife passed away. Shino's words stick with Tomoya, making him give Naoyuki one final chance, at least to meet his granddaughter Ushio, for the first time. The happiness that this brings to Naoyuki, and the confession he gives to Moya, made me think to the evolution of my relationship with my father. That is to say, my dad just wanted the best for me. Even when we didn't always see eye to eye, it hurt us both to go through what we did just like it did Tomoya and Naoyuki. We've moved on, and we understand what's more important now. I suppose maybe another five years may pass until I watch Clan Ad again. Most definitely it's something that I want to share with my future children, but I think it's going to deserve a rewatch before they're born. By then, I'll be in another part of my life where I might need someone else's advice most likely Akio's, on how to be the world's best dad. No other show has got me on that deep of a personal level. Sure, there are other shows I want to share with my fiancé and my future family, but I don't think any of them come close to what Clan Ad is. Quality isn't just defined by the polish a show might have, how good its soundtrack or its animation are, or how well written the script is. Of course, these all have a role to play, but I'd be foolish to deny the weight that relatability plays into deciding what shows truly become your favorites. I suppose this is the point where I ask what you all feel. Have multiple viewings of Clan Ad changed over the years with you? Is it a show that's aged with you as well? And if so, do you feel like it's a show that will age with us up until our end?